Hi everyone, I want to show you my Fortran program for plotting the Wankel Rotor Engine in GNUplot and AutoCAD. In the video description you can find the link where you can freely download the code and other files. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to add some text here to specify that this value will be always an integer number. OK, save file. Now I'm going to use this batch file to upload the source code to my virtual Linux server, a Ubuntu server. I know that I could use a shared folder, but anyway, I prefer it my way. Once the source code is in the server, we have to compile it and make the executable for that I'm gonna use this command okay let me list the files As you can see, there's five files in this directory. The text file is where the program stores the geometric parameters of the Wankel engine. The DAT file contains the X and Y coordinates of the Wankel engine. Later, I'm going to use this file for plotting the Wankel engine in GNUplot. The .scr file is an AutoCAD script. I'm gonna use this file for plotting the Wankel engine in AutoCAD, of course. <coughs> the one with the .f90 extension is my source code. And finally, the file with no extension is the executable file. Okay, let's run the program. First, the program asks for a major axis length, just as a reference. The program used this value to calculate the radius of the fixed circle of the peritrochoid that is used as the housing of the Wankel engine. This radius is then round up and is used to recalculate the actual value of the major axis length. You ask me why? Because I want to print the Wankel engine in a letter size sheet of paper and I want an integer value for the radius of the fixed circle. Okay, it's done. Now I'm gonna use this batch file to download the files, the text file, the dat file, and the AutoCAD script. With this other batch file, I'm gonna open GNUplot.
Here we have the Wanker Rotor Engine. Okay. Perfect. Press Ctrl plus D to close this window. Finally, with this batch file, I'm going to open AutoCAD. In the program, we calculate the perimeter of the housing. The perimeter of the housing for this case is 280 millimeters, more or less. And in AutoCAD, we're going to check that value. we have the same length as calculated by the program okay that's all thanks for watching